everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of Edit and Ben. Robin, a fellow YouTuber who has a channel called 8 Bit Show and Tell, likes to always type out a single line on the Commodore 64 that generates a maze on the screen, a random maze. I made a version of this for the Cleco Atom, which you can find on my channel, to do it under Smart Basic and also to do it under Microsoft Basic under CPM. Mm -hmm. I want to do the same for the Timex Sinclair 1000. But unfortunately, the Timex Sinclair 1000 and ZX81, their flavor of basic doesn't allow multiple commands on the same line. So I can't do single line. And then, just to throw another wrench in it, it doesn't have a backslash. It has a forward slash, but not a backslash. So I said, okay, let's turn these negatives into a positive and let's make a maze, a random maze for the Timex Sinclair 1000 just using the graphics characters it allows. So what we got here is I wrote a little program. I do two for loops, a 4y and a 4x, to break the screen up into two by two segments, two characters by two characters. And then, that's so line 10, I'm going to do 20 lines, and I'm going to go step two, so every other line. Line 20, I'm going to do 32 columns, and I'm going to step every other column. Line 30, I'm going to assign a random number to the variable A, which is going to be either be 1 or 2. So there's our randomness. Line 40, this is the complicated and a little difficult one. I'm going to print at position Y, comma, X, plus the reverse, or plus the value on print, uh, my random value, minus one. Then I'm going to either print two boxes going this way or two boxes going that way. That's using this, the slicing of A to A, so it's going to print from position one to one or two to two, depending on what the value of A is. Then I'm going to do it again at position Y plus one and X plus one, minus the value of A. Again, either going to print blocks going this way or blocks going that way. Now this plus or minus A minus one allows me to change it. If I was printing going this way, I know I'm a lot of hand waving, but if I'm printing going this way, block here, block here, then printing at X and Y and then X and Y plus one, it'll give me a diagonal. But if I'm printing a block here and block here, if I print it here on X and Y, and then I go down to X and Y plus one and print it that way again, it's not a diagonal. So what I do is I subtract one from A. So if I'm printing the first one, which A is the value of one, everything's fine. If I print the second one, then I'm subtracting one from it to get a value of zero or one. So on the first position, now I'm gonna add in the value of A minus one. So I'm either adding zero or one, then printing the position. So what I'm actually doing is if I'm printing position two, I'm shifting over one. Then the next print at, I'm going to subtract the value of A minus one. So I'm either going to be printing at Y plus one comma X plus one or Y plus one comma X plus one minus one, which is over here. So I'm shifting it this way. And then 50, I just go back and continue doing X until I'm done and then Y until I'm done. Now I'm going to run this program and I'll fast forward through it so that you can see it, but it actually prints out pretty quick. I'm going to build that random maze on the screen. And there we go. Nice little random maze. And it does look like a maze. It actually comes out looking very well for such limited graphics. So another exciting episode of Edit and Then for the TS-1000 slash ZX81.